welcome to my channel. This is Chels Tells. Um, today we are going to be doing a Mills and Minutes. Um, normally I will do this on my blog. Every two weeks you'll see me post a meal that you can do in 20 to 30 minutes. If you haven't been on my blog, check it out. The link is right here below somewhere. I decided to do a video version this time because it is a special occasion. Someone I know had a baby and there was a meal train set up, so, and I volunteered for today. But anyways, today we are gonna be doing a broccoli chicken cheese rice casserole. Um, it's gonna be actually really easy, super fast, um, and easy to make. These are the ingredients that you are going to need. All portions will be listed on my blog. I will attach that in the description down below. Um, but as you can see here, I have frozen diced chicken breast, Velveeta cheese, chicken broth, long grain white rice, steamed fresh broccoli, and cream of chicken. This is the rice maker that I have. Um, I had put a pound of white rice in there. It's already going. And um, I'll open it so y'all can see what it looks like. That's, what's, that's what it looks like right now. So, um, this is already pre cooked chicken, so pretty much I'm just heating it, heating it up on the stove. I put a little bit of olive oil in there. Um, to keep it from sticking. So I got that going right now. And um, in a minute, once that is pretty much heated up to where it needs to be, add this Velveeta cheese in there, the whole thing, you guys, okay? You can't go wrong with cheese. Cheese is awesome. Okay, everybody loves cheese. So it is actually the 32 ounce, okay? You wanna put that in the pot once the chicken is done. Um, heating up and let that cheese melt in there. Okay, you guys. cheese you are just gonna cover it up all the steam will help melt that cheese faster too and then we are just gonna come back and stir it a little bit the cheese is boiling and it's it's getting there it's like not even maybe a minute after I put it on so not too bad so let's go ahead and stir this up some more looks pretty good we can go ahead and add in that cream of chicken. And depending on the texture, we may go ahead and add just a little bit more milk. And at this time, we're gonna go ahead and put the broccoli in the microwave. And usually like the preference is on you, how much broccoli you like. And when it comes to these ingredients like broccoli, cheese, chicken, there's no right or wrong way, okay? The only thing you can F up on is the freaking rice but my rice cooker cooks it for me, so I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, if you don't have a rice cooker, you should really get a rice cooker. Okay, so sorry guys, I didn't mention it beforehand, but this is the butter that I'm gonna be using. go ahead and pack up this rice casserole um, I have like a little technique I like to do I don't like to take the rice and just pour it um, in the pot of cheese just in case like there is too much cheese and I, I just don't want it to get effed up pretty much so I like to put um, a little bit of rice in the pan that I'm gonna be using and then add a little bit of cheese Okay guys, so there you have it. Finished product, looks so good, smells good too, and just for funds, 
I grabbed this because it was in my fridge, shredded cheese, and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. Fine. It makes it all stringy and cheesy like. So yes, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sprinkle it on top. As you can see, um, I didn't use a lot. It's pretty much just for the looks. It's gonna look even more better once it comes out of the oven. They can probably pop it in there for like maybe five minutes at 350. Um, just to kind of heat up the casserole and then that cheese will melt on top and it looks so good um, Just for a test run. I'm gonna take a bite out of this and see how it tastes I really hope that the couple that I made this meal for really enjoys it Congratulations you guys on your new baby. This is like the most amazing experience you'll ever experience in your lifetime. I know that my first and only baby was and still is the most amazing thing that has ever happened to me. So thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoy my meals in minutes. Um, if you really like this video, if you'd like to see more videos on my meals in minutes, Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. Um, let me know what you think. Do you prefer for me to keep writing about it or would you see more videos about it? Um, and also please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also my blog down below. Thanks guys.